the easiest way to explain what this is is that if you imagine all the digits we have are 1 to 9 that's all we have but what are the dynamics um, and the interactions between these digits this is the way to uh, to demonstrate the interactions and it's such that um, instead of 1 to 9 being placed in a straight line so that you've just got a vector that's just 1 to 2 to 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5 we've curled it up on itself so that it's a circle and when you do that you get all kinds of interesting geometric interactions which show you the true dynamics of our uh, 1 to 9 system to find, to, to be able to view the ratios and um, and to, to to see the resonance between numbers um, we use decimal parity which is that you add uh, you add multiple digit numbers together to get single so, digit so we go, if you start at 1 and you're going around uh, clockwise 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 when you get to 10 it's 1 plus 0 so you're back to 1 and 11, 1 plus 1 equals 2 and so on now the interactions within the circle are all interesting because for instance if you look at what's opposing, here I've drawn the red lines so that you can see uh, what's going on. One is uh, directly opposite to eight, um, two directly opposite to seven, three directly opposite to six, four directly opposite to five, so that uh, where they cross over in the middle, uh, they all equal nine. One and eight, nine, two and seven, it's nine. 3 and 6 is 9, 4 and 5 equals 9. So you've got this straight line, the z axis of 9, right down the center of this thing. And you can see this also in the 9 times table. They're also mirrored, you know, where you see 45 turn to 54. It's just a mirror inversion and then back. Um, and you've always got these same pairs 1 and 8, 2 and 7, 3 and 6, 4 and 5. And so it's being demonstrated here, visually, um, geometrically. Uh, the other big one to point out is the doubling circuit. And the importance of this really is that nature uses this. Um, cell division works like this. Um, from one, one divides into two. Um, interest, interestingly, it's you know it's dividing into two, but it's also multiplying. Um, so um, two ones, are two, uh, uh, two two is four, uh, two four is eight, two eight is sixteen, which equals seven. One and six, two sevens are fourteen. Uh, one and four equals five. Uh, two. Then two fives are ten, and one and zero equals one again. So you end up with this movement: one to two, two to four, cross four to eight, eight to seven, seven to five, back to one. This is the doubling circuit at the top here: one, two, four, eight, seven, five. Notice that three, six, and nine are never, are never touched on that circuit. So three, six, and nine are naturally singled out. And uh, there I've highlighted them. Now, so if you look between 9 and 3, for instance, the ones that stand out, you've got 1 and 2. Well, add 1 and 2, you've got 3. Between the 3 and 6 is 4 and 5, which is 9. And between the 6 and the 9 here, uh, you've got 7 and, and 8. Uh, which is 15, which equals 6. 
so uh, it's it's an inversion, so to speak, of the same number pattern three to six to nine. This one goes three to six to nine. So notice that sort of triangle that way, triangle that way. Um, inversion. Um, also interesting is if you simply add between the numbers, so between all of the 1 to 9 numbers here, so 9 and 1, um, add them together and place the digit um, decimal parity in between, so it would be 10 which is 1, um, then there's a 3, uh, 2 and 3 is 5, 3 and 4, 7, uh, four and five, nine. Uh, five and six uh, is eleven, which is one plus one, which was two. Um, then you get four between there, and you get six between there, and then you got um, eight between there. Now, what's interesting is that um, you've got the same sort of pattern reoccurring in between. So, but it's also offset, so it it's perpetual. Another pattern contained is that if you follow the doubling circuit, which goes 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 8, 8 to 7, 7 to 5, 5 back to 1 again, if you add them, um, you get the same uh, oscillation between 3 and 6s again, uh, which is... 1 and 2 equals 3, then you go 2 to 4, 2 plus 4 equals 6, you go from 4 to 8, uh, which is 12, which uh, 1 plus 2 equals 3, and then 8 to 7 is 15, 1 and 5 equals 6, 7 and 5 is um, 12, which is 3 again, and then 5 to 1, 5 and 1 equals 6, so it's going 3, between 1 and 2, 6 between 2 and 4, 3 between 4 and 8, um, 6 between 8 and 7, 3 between 7 and 5, and then 6 again between 5 and 1. So this 3, 6 oscillation is evident. Okay, another way to look at the oscillation between 3 and 6 that I was showing between the uh, the doubling circuit, um, this circuit, adding between them, you're getting a uh, three six three six three six. Is just look at it like this: three plus three equals six, six plus six equals twelve, which is three. One plus two. Uh, twelve plus twelve equals twenty-four, which is six. Twenty-four plus twenty-four equals forty-eight. Uh, which equals uh, which equals 12, which equals 3. And okay, so, so here all I've done is put my circle down, put uh, 1 through to 9 again, with 9 at the top. Uh, it doesn't matter, but... And then between those numbers, I've added them together, as I showed uh, before. So you end up with uh, 1, 3, 5, 7... 9, 2, 4, 6, 8 between these other numbers and then I've just drawn lines between the primary ones here in red and 9 to 3, 3 to 6, back to 9 and then the secondary ones uh, in blue 3 to 6, 6 to 9 uh, 9 back to 3 and a very uh, very familiar pattern emerges. So here you've got uh, equilibrium, um, and if you're familiar with Nazem Haramine's work and and such, and drawn below Malkazidex, this uh, means a lot. And this is just a rough look at uh, what it looks like when you draw both doubling circuits. Um, interlaced.